Hello everyone, I'm Lucia Tian. Um, yesterday or two days ago, um, I have released uh, Leather Cloud CAD version 2.4.2. It's been actually um, five months or six months since I released the last version, uh, 2.3.1. Um, yeah, I have moved to a new place and then uh, replaced the uh, development uh, environment. And then uh, ever since that, um, I wasn't able to build a Mac version uh, of Leathercraft CAD, uh, so that's why it, um, you know, and actually um, I was, I've been so busy uh, for the other uh, things, so uh, I couldn't release the new version for a while. Um, but finally, uh, two days ago, I was able to fix uh, the fundamental issue for the Mac version, so um, I decided to uh, release uh, this one. Uh, so let me explain. So uh, mostly, this version is for um, includes the uh, bug fixes and uh, improvements, but there are some new features in it too. So uh, let me explain one by one. Uh, the first thing is uh, drawing. Uh, so there is a feature called uh, leather sim no, simulator uh, that you can attach. Uh, leather images to uh, your pattern, uh, but uh, when you use that feature, sometimes the uh, the background of the text or the the message, uh, you know, it's distorted. So I fixed that one, and then this is a, a, a bit important SVG uh, import, and a lot of people reported that um, you know, some of the SVGs. Uh, could not be imported to uh, Leathercraft CAD. And then I figured out that transform uh, related uh, issue. Uh, some of the software uh, you know, export, uh, including transform uh, feature in SVG, and then uh, Leathercraft CAD didn't, uh, hand or couldn't handle it. So uh, with this fix, um, I think most of the SVG files uh, that could not be imported, uh, they are now, uh, they should be able to be imported. But uh, if you still have um, the same issue, uh, please let me know. And uh, it will be helpful if you could send me the SVG file itself. Uh, then I'll try to uh, figure out why. Um, see, the third one is snap point improvement. Uh, so a while ago, um, I added this feature that uh, if it's a line, then uh, it indicates the, the center point and then uh, one fourth and then three quarter uh, point. And then if it's a circle, uh, ellipse and uh, let me do this. Yeah, so uh, every uh, one eighth point. Uh, there is a mark uh, indicated, but um, in the previous version, uh, this gets really uh, tight, and then uh, you know those circles overlap each other, and it's really hard to see it. So uh, from this version, um, I change it to uh, I reduce the number of the uh, the point or, or the markers. Uh, so uh, that you be you be able to see it uh, even if it's uh, uh, zoomed out. So if I keep going this and then now I see only four in the center for the circle, and then for the line only three uh, edges and the middle. So this is the improvement uh, number three. Um, yep. And the uh, line step, oh, okay, so this is a color uh, chord. So you can edit the, the palette um, and change the color like this way, but uh, some people prefer to type in the, the web style uh, color um, chord uh, directory here. So now you can do it uh, if you want. And uh, printing, yeah, this is also one of those uh, frequently requested. So now um, you can save um, print area information uh, in the project. So uh, if you have mul you know, multiple pages like this, and uh, in previous version, this, this information uh, disappeared uh, when you closed the, the project. 
Um, but from this version, uh, these uh, print area information uh, that is also uh, saved in the project. So if you open uh, the same that project again uh, later day, uh, then uh, you should be able to see those print area uh, restored. Okay, and um, another print uh, issue. So line uh, thickness. Uh, there is a feature to change the line thickness uh, in the print preview, but it didn't work. Uh, but now it's working. And uh, what is this? Oh yeah, this is uh, one of those uh, secret features. So there is a um, secret feature, uh, secret items in box joint maker. So with uh, Leathercraft CAD, uh, you can uh, design those box joint boxes and you can actually change the, the dimensions um, like this way or the size of the pins or a uh, number of the pins and the thickness of the board. Um, so it's uh, very flexible. But uh, when you design a box with a um, you know, lid and the sliding lid, then the internal height information was wrong. So I fixed that, this one. And by the way, this is um, a feature, secret feature, and this feature is only available for the people uh, donated to this project. So if you are interested, uh, please uh, take a look at uh, where is the help and uh, make a donation. This is the most uh, general way, easiest way to uh, donate to this project, buy me a coffee and um, click this link and it will take you to uh, this donation site. And, uh, um, and after you donate to this project, uh, an email will be sent to you, uh, including the, um, the, the secret code. And uh, if you type in the secret code, then uh, you, you'll be able to um, use this feature. And actually, you can use it, but um, until you uh, unlock uh, this secret feature, you can't, um, you know, put it to um, uh, on on the uh, you know, grid or worker area. So if you are interested in uh, making box or the uh, other um, you know, secret item features, please consider donating to this project. And I think that's it for today. And there are some. Uh, other minor improvements um, and uh, um, performance improvements and the bug fixes, but those are minor. Um, and, but if you uh, notice something, please let me know. Um, or if you have any questions, requests, uh, please let me know. Uh, commenting on YouTube, uh, sometimes I miss it and it's hard to uh, track uh, conversation. So the best way is to uh, send me email uh, or Twitter uh, or Instagram. That, no, that, no, those are the best ways. And uh, my email address is described in the uh, license agreement, I think. Uh, if you go to help menu, show license agreement. And then my email address is at, yeah, at the, the bottom here. So you can copy and paste this. All right, so I think that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.